We've been combing through the 25 page court papers all morning. These documents not only go into detail regarding juror 12's text messages, but also Judge Miller's decision as to why he doesn't believe Robert Newlander needs a new trial. Judge Miller's decision to deny Robert Newlander a new trial comes after the juror misconduct hearing, which took place earlier this month. During the hearing, Juror 12 admitted to deleting text messages about the trial, even though it was strictly prohibited. In Judge Miller's decision, he said, quote, It is worthy of note that Juror 12 deleted other messages which demonstrated that she understood the prohibition on speaking about this case with third parties. While the court acknowledged Juror Number 12 should have reported the text message exchanges, the court feels there is not enough evidence that the conversations impacted her decision. Judge Miller points out one response by saying, quote, Juror 12 responded to the message by texting, can't tell. This response shows that Juror 12 did not engage in premature weighing of the evidence. We reached out to Robert Newlander's defense attorney, Gerald Chargell, and he said this will become part of the appellant process and will certainly be one of his arguments going forward. However, District Attorney Bill Fitzpatrick says he appreciates Judge Miller's decision to deny Newlander a new trial. Judge Miller ends his decision by saying, quote, Nevertheless, it is apparent that while Juror 12's actions were imperfect, her intentions were pure, and she took her role as a juror seriously. Robert Newlander faces 25 years to life. We will find out how long he'll be behind bars in just two days. We'll be there for his sentencing on Thursday morning.